Take one. If we, if I count down on three, two, one, and then do it, is that okay? You did it too quick. I thought I'd it wrong way. <laughs> Take one. Well, my name is David, and I've lived here since February 2010, almost 10 years. I'm quite happy here. I'm quite satisfied. Well, I'm Edna, and we've lived at White Willows for, uh, in, we'll have been in White Willows 12 months of 17th of this month. I'm Derek, and I came in with us at the same time. <laughs> I'm Uncle Aldo. We were the first ones in this flat from the start, from it being built. We moved in on 15th of January 2010. There was no one else in the building at all, only a, one security man. And he presented my wife with her, um, like a bouquet of flowers, because we were the first ones in. I'm Dorothy Williams. Um, 92, nearly 93 years old, and I've been in White Willow since the 11th of February uh, 2010. Well, I'm Kathleen Roberts, and I've been in here 10 years in March next year, and it's the best thing I have ever done. Well, I moved in on May the 3rd, 2011, I came in with my daughter-in-law because I'd lost my husband in 2010 near Christmas, 22nd of December. So I moved in here. They were having a coffee morning. I went into the coffee morning. I had a cup of tea and a cake and I've been happy ever since. Yeah, we like it here because uh, we weren't allowed to go back in his own flat when I had this accident and uh, uh, we just wanted to be together, you know what I mean? We've been together 50 odd years and we do, it, it's been me going in the nursing home and uh, uh, her having to come and visit me practically every day so we were very, very lucky to get in here. We've got its own place and it's lovely in here. Yeah, I, I was settled practically straight away. It only took me a, a few weeks to settle in because I, I came from a three bedroom house and I thought, oh, going into a flat, I don't know whether I can do it. But I did. We downsized obviously from a, a big semi detached. And uh, it got a bit used, it got a, a little bit getting used to it. You know, sort of like more compact. Uh, but we was okay, once we got the self sorted out, then that was it. We just ended, we started to enjoy it. I watched it being built, I picked out the flat I wanted, but I didn't know whether I'd get it, but I did. I was, I was very fortunate. In fact, I'm a very fortunate person, I think. And um, I love being here. It's, I feel safe, I feel comfortable. I remember when I was on my own and I had to go around locking all the doors, making sure they were fastened and 
windows were closed, every little noise you heard you were jumping and there's none of that. It's, uh, that's what I like about White Willows, the fact that we, we are independent and yet there's always people there if you need them. I, I really love it. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. If I won the lottery, I wouldn't want to move. I'd probably buy the place. <laughs> And the people that are saying they're all lovely people, what we've met. Yeah, there are some nice people. Best it's thing we've ever people. done, really. There's not enough many. You can't talk about football or anything like that. <laughs> and it's the best thing I have ever done. I feel safe in here. I just hope I can spend my rest of my life in here. Uh, my own flat, which I don't I like in. There's no supervision. Nobody tells me what to do. I've come and gone to a place and it's nice and warm and comfy. Well decorated. All my mom. <laughs> For me, it's going to bingo and coffee mornings because before, if we'd have gone anywhere else, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Well, Derek would have had to go in home and I would have had to go, well, stay where I was living then. But now there is something for me to see and do. You're never sort of alone, but you can be alone if you wish. We do have functions with singers and things and buffies and that's, that's memorable. Uh, and we have coffee morning when we all get together and talk to friends. It's, that's nice. I've got some beautiful friends here. And you know Chris, what did I have a laugh and a joke with him sometimes, you know. And I say to him, oh, they've got you washing up again, Chris. Oh, that's not very nice. And then they go and tell Louise. And she comes back and she says, yes, do you know he has to take his turn. As the guys of staff, I've always got on with them. I don't... Uh... I don't make any trouble. <laughs> I admire the people who work, I admire the girls in the office. They, they're always there if you need anything, but they're not obtrusive. Um, they're never too tired to listen or too busy, and they are busy, I know. The session I want to give to the staff is to just carry on as you are. I'm quite happy with what you're doing. I have no complaints. No, when I go anywhere, when I come through those doors downstairs, I always think, oh, I'm glad I'm back. Is that it, love? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>